Dwayne Johnson out of the DCEU. Tell me if I ain't call that. Well, it is now being confirmed he is out of the DCEU, the DCEU. Um, also, it's coming out that he was trying to use Henry Cavill as a pawn in his ploy to gain power at the DCU. So, let's go over this and I'll give you my take. Now, as a reporter here, Henry Cavill's return and immediate departure from the DCU has been uh, just another strange chapter. The story of Warner Brothers Discovery's overhaul of what should be their biggest franchise. Reported by the Hollywood Reporter, a report by the Hollywood Reporter has now quoted one industry insider as saying what many suspected for some time. That Cavill and his Superman ho hokey cokey was all down to him. Hokey cokey? What kind of word is that? Down to him being a pawn and Dwayne Johnson's desire to make himself the center of the DCU franchise. Dwayne Johnson made it very clear that he was responsible for bringing back Henry Cavill's Man of Steel for his Black Adam cameo appearance. And at the time, he boasted about going over the head of the depart departing DC head Walter Hamada to make it happen. However, Black Adam failed to ignite the fuse in quite the way Johnson hoped, pulling in $389 million and failing to even trouble the top 10 movies of the year. According to the report, the, an insider told the publication that Cavill had ended up being in the crossfires for Johnson's desire and the reality of the situation. Additionally, Cavill had never had a contract to make further appearances in the DCU, but only had a verbal agreement that new projects would be created with him in the future, which is something that we were going to talk about in another video. Cavill was paid $250,000 for Superman cameos, even though it looks like his appearance in The Flash would no longer be happening. But it seems this is where Superman's story was always destined to end. So let's get into this. There is something else I wanted to bring up here, but while that happens, Dwayne Johnson as an actor is not the best actor. And it's starting to become very obvious if you let this guy in, his, in your franchise, he's going to try to take some chunk of it and make it about him. And don't get me wrong, I love The Rock. I know him as The Rock, as many people do. But well, look at what happened with Fast and the Furious. They brought him on. I've forgotten which one was at five. And then all of a sudden, this family unity, no pun intended, is troubled because he just gets brought on as Hobbs. And then he wants to make Hobbs movies and he wants to take time away to make a thing about Hobbs. And they're like, no, you're part of this, but he takes it and wants to be part of him. Now, let's not forget, also, um, if you've seen a lot of the marketing around the uh, DCEU, I can't find it, but I, um, I have Rock on my uh, Facebook. It's literally him sitting on the throne and all the other characters in DC sitting around him or behind him. So make no mistake about it. This guy was trying to focus the DC, if he had his way, was going to try to make him an Iron Man as to like focus or bend the DC, the, the DCU around him. And to be honest with you, Black Adam is not that, not that deep of a character to have him be at the core, nor is Rock's acting skills sufficient enough to make, to even bring out the depth that is in Black Adam's character. He warped Black Adam's character to make him to be some misunderstood good guy who cannot control his powers, 
when really Black Adam is basically an anti-hero if something is about to happen to his, to his people who they will love him no matter what and he will never let people down. Other than that, he tends to be kind of a power-hungry borderline psychopath. So, but they change it around because I, I, I think Rock doesn't want to play bad guys anymore. Like after Doom and after Scorpion King, he hasn't played the um pro, the um an antagonist. So, I think that's why he wanted that to be his thing, and he wanted it to be, he wanted his uh Black Adam to be some kind of like anti Superman. He even had him weak to. Uh, Eternium. Black Adam doesn't have that type of a weakness where he's weak to some rock or mineral. Like it seemed like he was just stuck on Superman. So and then of course for his character to fight Superman. And you know, this was also where he was a uh, his give him giving his apology. You know, we fought years to bring you back. They always said no, but the Danny Garcia and he had another tag. And myself, no, it's not an option. We can't build out our DCEU without the world's greatest superheroes. And fans will always come first. Welcome home. I'll see you down the road, Black Adam. Notice he says our. This guy had a plan. He had a vision for what he wanted the DCEU to be. And I'm telling you, he wanted it to be warped around him. But... With the man with the mad titan known as James Gunn, everybody's getting he done snapped and everybody's out here getting erased and his movie didn't do good. Um The Rock was the rock with a cape. Just like the rock is the rock in Jungle Cruise, the rock is a rock on a boat. Name a movie and it's the rock as a rock in that in that film. The Rock is a the, the Rock as a law enforcement agent in Hobbs and Shaw. So, <laughs> um, it the numbers for this movie was not good, but and he even was trying to like show like the profits and toys and the profits and that. I remember on Facebook, he was talking about thank you for making it the number one movie, but it didn't have any competition. To really push it, and I think the once a movie did come out, it it easily got bumped. It easily got bumped down. So he's out. He hasn't really said much. He don't talk about Black Adam much. The movie was stuck in in production for over eleven years. Um, he kept being mad about the people at at DC, um, and then. He refuses to give any more details as to what next, and now he's admitting he's out. Would he've been out if this thing um, with Cavill didn't happen? Likely. The movie didn't do good. The movie did not break even. So, because in order for you to hit, hit, hit your sales, you got to at least recoup the total amount for production. And so even a movie of this caliber, you're not looking for it to break even. You're looking for it to pass. But I think it barely broke even. So in the in the scope of how much money was spent on the movie, it's still a flop. Would he would have left if this didn't happen? Probably. I, already, I was already hearing, there was already whispers that there wasn't going to be a Black Adam 2 even before it was announced that Henry was gone. But Dwayne's out now. We're just going to have to wait for the other shoes to officially uh, fall. Because uh, also something that's not really talked about, and I know this might be a different video, um, what you going to do with Robert Patterson? I know he has a kind of youthful look, but Robert Patterson is 36, the person who played in the, the Batman movie. By the time you start another Batman movie and it finishes and it comes out, he's likely to be 38, 39. So they're probably going to scratch him too. So we're looking at a complete overhaul of everything. Dwayne's just another domino to fall in the pile. But let me know what your thoughts are. Please like, comment, subscribe. 
hit the like button. Let me know your thoughts. I do read all comments down below. This is Revos. I'm out.